Welcome back, Sethling here. And today I want to show you my shrink ray in Minecraft 1.13. We're shooting air with this house, and all the blocks will be turned into little miniature versions of those blocks. And they'll all get sucked together, and the shrink ray's job is now complete. Uh, this house and some of the surrounding terrain have all been miniaturized. It's three eighths as big in each dimension. And yeah, so this doesn't use any mods or anything. This uses something called a data pack, which is a new feature in 1.13, uh, which actually uh, is basically like a bunch of command blocks all kind of packed together into a uh, zip file. But uh, yeah, this doesn't work just on the blocks that I showed you there. This actually works on any kinds of blocks. So I can uh, just pick an area over here. Let's, let's shoot it right here. Let's miniaturize this tree, this mushroom, some of the land around it. Uh, this works on any kind of block. And the way it works is that where you, wherever you shoot the arrow, it sort of scans with an eight block radius. That's sort of like a sphere, eight blocks around where the arrow lands. And it finds every block within that radius. And uh, for each block, it tests every possible kind of block. So it goes through, you know, wood, stone, sh wool, pink glass, everything for each block to figure out what kind of block it is. And it replaces that block with an armor stand that, uh, that that has that block in his hand. It's not wearing it on its head, um, but it's rather it's it's in the armor stand's hand. And so some of the blocks, uh, like these grass, don't don't render right. Actually, I have some in my inventory. You'll notice when it's in my hands, it uh, it only looks like a, a 2D little sprite, whereas uh, when I have a grass block, it actually looks like a proper block. And so some of the grass blocks don't render correctly. But overall, it uh, looks pretty good. You'll notice like some of the trees got cut off. So this couple of the blocks came from this tree. Um, uh, yeah. So if you reload the data packs, it'll it'll uh, remove any armor stands, which is nice because those actually do lag things up. But yeah. Uh, and then the other thing is there's a new feature. In, oh, you can see I've been testing this. There's a new feature in 1.13 which lets you uh, with with commands, which lets you basically grab NBT data from entities and put them in the scoreboard. And then you can do arithmetic with that data in the scoreboard. And then you can move it back from the scoreboard into the NBT data. And so that's kind of complicated. But what it means is you can take like the X, Y, and Z coordinates of say an armor stand and then do arithmetic with it uh, and, and modify the coordinates of that armor stand. And so that's how I actually was able to get these uh, armor stands positioned correctly so that they have the right spacing three-eighths of a block apart from each other to form the you know the correct spacing for this terrain and so this is like I said it says just a zip file and you can download it there's a link in the video description if you want to download it and try it for yourself just put it into a minecraft 1.13 save file um, all you have to do is just just put it in the data packs folder and that's it uh, there is one more thing uh, some of the blocks don't work correctly like for instance uh, there's no block you can hold in your hand that looks like water and so i, I did uh there's like special cases for water so if i a little bit of lag if i put some water on this hill let it flow a little bit and then i miniaturize this, this sort of like hillside over here uh, it actually will there's special cases for water and lava where it'll turn the water and the lava into uh, uh, light blue stained glass and orange stained glass. And so it actually looks okay. Um, there are some render issues with transparent blocks. So they don't quite render correctly, as you can see from all angles. But otherwise, it's not too bad. But yeah, uh, download it, try it out for yourself, play around with it. Don't put it in a world that you actually care about because you'll probably end up ruining a lot of terrain. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.